The topic, Aaron Donald. The thesis, why he's the best in the NFL. Let's just jump into it. Okay, so I know people are going to freak out about the title of this video and say, how could you say Aaron Donald is the best uh, player in football? Clearly, it's Patrick Mahomes. Uh, if you said Patrick Mahomes, I'm not mad at you. Uh, I'm basically saying that if I don't take positional value into account, I think that Aaron Donald is so much better than every other defensive tackle, and that margin from one to two is way bigger than the margin in any other position, which is why I say he's the best in football. That's my criteria. If your criteria for best in football is different, that's totally cool. But anyways, I just want to talk about why Aaron Donald is so great because there's so many things he can just do so tremendously well. And we'll start things off with this play. It's going to be a twist right now. So, okay, you know, right off the bat, you're thinking, why are you showing a twist to try to say that he's the best player in football? Twists are designed to make it easier to generate some pressure. I mean, this is not the same as just someone who can win one-on-one -on -one matchups or two-on-one -on -one matchups consistently. Uh, and it's not, but I'm showing it for a reason. So if you don't know how twist works, uh, the other uh, def interior defensive lineman, he's going to run towards uh, the right guard's left side of his body, which is going to try to push him towards the center. And Aaron Donald, he's the one who's running around. He tries to get around the guard. Basically, you get someone out of position, potentially get a straight shot to the quarterback. This guard's going to get out of position a little bit. He does notice Donald coming at the last second. So, you know, he's going to try to get in Donald's way. And what would you expect? I think you would expect that Donald would be able to move him to some degree, potentially even get around him and try to get some pressure. But if you think that's all Donald is going to do, you uh, haven't been paying attention. Watch how Donald is just going to completely manhandle him, knock him over, and then get the Trubisky and get the sack. Uh, again, just dominance where he's so strong and so fast, so explosive. Uh, basically, every attribute you would want out of an interior defensive lineman or a pass rusher, he has them both. There was a lot made about him having like a quote-unquote down season last year. The guy had 12 and a half sacks as an interior defensive lineman last year. A couple were as an edge rusher. He did get some time in as an edge rusher, but they were pretty much all as uh, interior defensive line, and he still had the second most sacks of his career. So I, I don't really know where that comes from. And if you want to use uh, hurries as a stat, I mean, he had the, the third most hurries he's ever had uh, in a season. So he definitely did not have a down year by any means, I don't think. It's more so that just his 2018 year was just an unreal, unbelievable year that was such a unicorn of a season that I don't think anyone will ever repeat that, not anytime soon anyways. But anyways, I'll get back on track. Uh, let's show this play where he's going up one-on-one -on -one against the guard. Uh, and, you know, it got talked about so much like how often Aaron Donald gets double teamed. Well, this play is why. What Donald's going to do right here is move a little bit over to uh, the guard's right side of his body. And then he's just simply going to try to slap the left side of his body, get him further over in that direction, and then run to the other side. And watch how he pulls this off. Again, just so quick. There's immediate pressure. And if it wasn't for a very quick route, that's an easy sack right there. I mean, how do you even defend against that when they're getting pressure literally one second into the play? I mean, you're immediately under pressure there's just nothing you can do that's just a and, and, you know unless you get very lucky like they did there that's almost always going to be just a bad play it's that explosiveness on the line this plays another example it's actually a running play but it's going to be the same uh idea where that san francisco player he's going to be blocking donald he's going to start off moving a little bit to the left side of the screen uh kind of trying to block him in that area uh, and watch how poorly it works off. Again, same move from Donald. He does it so quickly. I mean, it's like he's just running through a turnstile right there. It really is, isn't it? I mean, it's unreal. One of the ways he's really able to have success in these one-on-one -on -one matchups against guards is by using his hands to disrupt his opposing player's hands. His hands are fantastic. Uh, you know, I feel like his technique, it might have actually even gotten better last year. I think his technique, weirdly, wasn't that great in his 20-plus uh, sack season. He was just that much better. I think his technique's gotten a little better. Like on this play, uh, he's going up against 67 right there to guard. What he's going to do is he's going to get his left arm and left hand and grab uh, 67's right wrist. That's what he wants to do. And once he does that, he wants to pull it to the outside. That's his idea. Uh, he wants to pull the right arm to the left side of his body so he can run to the right side. 
uh, and watch how it works out. Again, he gets it, yanks it over, and again, it's that immediate pressure. Kyler just, just has to go down. Uh, and it's like, what do you do? It's like you're in a war zone and you're in one of those foxholes and a grenade just pops in. Like, it just all of a sudden, like, okay, game over. One more move I have to uh, break down because it is, you know, it's, it's one of his most iconic moves. Probably is his most iconic move. It's his jump move. Uh, you see it on a play like this, going up against the right tackle, 78 right there. Uh, and what's going to happen is that, so right when this play starts, again, he kind of starts as though he might be going to, uh, 78s right so that's where uh, the guard has moved but instead of just trying to get over now to uh, in between the guard and the center so closer to the left side of the screen which is what uh, a lot of people you know might do what he's going to do is watch how he jumps in that direction and while he did that he also again disrupted the left arm so you look at the opposing guard right here look at how bent over he is trying to make this play and the only hand he has that can actually push Donald out of the way is all the way over on Donald's chest so he would basically have to either hold on and accept the holding penalty or just let him up and allow the sack he chooses to hold on, and Donald is still able to get there with some help from a teammate. Uh, so, again, just completely disruptive. He's like a monster in a monster movie uh, or in a horror movie trying to, you know, get through and kill the heroes. Uh, except in this one, there is actually no stopping the, the monster. He is going to get to your quarterback. I'm just saying that Aaron Donald, as an interior defensive lineman, in what's considered his worst year, or not his worst year, but what was considered a down year, still had as many sacks as Khalil Mack had in his second best year sack-wise. I mean, that's where he's at. The guy's a monster, and I really do think that if you take positional value out of the equation, he's the best player in football. Again, there's a difference between best player in football and uh, most valuable player in football. Those are two different things, but I think he's the best. Uh, what do you guys think? Am I crazy? Uh, am I on to something? I mean, you know, people got mad at the, the uh, you know, player vote where uh, Mahomes was four and then Wilson and Jackson were one and two. And fair enough. But I also felt like people were not bringing enough into account about Aaron Donald. He's, he's still really good. So, again, who cares about the player vote? They're always terrible. We know this. But, but yeah, I just wanted to give Aaron Donald some more love. Not that he doesn't get much already, but I think he's fantastic. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.